I thought I was living life, but I was just really just living busyness. For the past 22 years, I had done a really good job of living for myself. There's more to stake in this life than just what we see. The devil's whispering in our ears to, to forget that he exists. The world has forgotten sin. A lot of people want to know whether religion is even relevant today. Can a relationship with Jesus Christ change the culture? And my response would be a personal one. A relationship with Jesus Christ changed my life, and I've seen it change the life of many other people. I think what grabbed me about Focus's mission is to really go into a very hostile environment, to go in there and to know uh, we'd be engaging students uh, searching at a time in their life where they're evaluating everything they've been raised to believe, they're experiencing newfound freedom, uh, they, they, they really can do what they want. The college campus is the real battlefield. It's where the culture comes to a head. Young people are being forced to make decisions right there that are going to change the rest of their lives. If you want to make a difference in the world, you know, if you want to make a difference substantially, a lot of it really starts with individuals. And Focus has a great model for that. It's following in the footsteps of our Lord. You know, He, for three years, stepped into the lives of 12 men, very specifically. They don't go for this huge systematic change, which you're gonna have to you know, adjust everything. But they say, no, let's get to the hearts of people and let's try to transform people individually. That we are to step into the lives of the people that Christ puts before us um, and just invest our very selves in them. And that's how we're gonna make a difference. That's how we're gonna be great. Who knows the generations that I will have ended up affecting? Because this person's gonna go on to be a mother or a father, you know, a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, and their impact is gonna be, I think, beyond measure. As soon as you become a Focus missionary, prayer is the heart and soul of your day. There's a time for daily prayer, there's time for mass, there's time for community. There is time to grow in our intellectual knowledge of the faith. I think what impresses me the most about the missionaries that I've met are they're striving to live excellent lives, to live lives like truly for Christ. Like that's it. In the Gospels, Jesus says to all of us, he challenges all of us, come, follow me. And then later on he says, if you want to follow me, you have to take up your cross daily. What I love about Focus is it's truly a call to the cross in an intense way. I really believe a man has to determine what the authority is going to be in his life. A man's life is to be built for others. And that's heroic generosity. I wanted to do service. I was looking at Peace Corps, Teach for America, going and doing something for the world when I realized the immense need of, of our spiritual poverty here in the U.S. And there was nowhere else I could imagine myself. Prior to joining Focus, I was in the business world and, and I was able to taste some success there. But since joining Focus, I have been just blown away at how much I've grown as a person, primarily because of the quality of the staff that I've worked with. Teamwork, uh, communication, dealing with just people in general, as, those, as well as developing oneself. If you want to be a leader in anything, like you've got to be active in it. You've got to be engaged in it. What the church needs is young men and women willing to stand for the truth. If we really know Christ, if we really experience Him, uh, his, his presence, his, the power of His life, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, uh, through the sacraments of the church, through our prayer life, we are going to have that fire to want to run into the world and say, come and see. Come and see. You've got to experience this. We must walk by faith. And being in focus, being around the young men and women that have laid their lives down, that have given in such a generous way, it's inspiring. And it motivates me to get up each day and to say, I choose, Lord, to serve you and to give like they have given. If you're even considering applying for Focus, the best thing that I can say to you is you won't regret it. There's no regrets. It's a journey forward and it's a journey towards heaven. <laughs>